Hey everybody, this is another uh, Tokyo update. I realize I should probably um, film this right now because it releases tomorrow. So what I what have I been working on? Uh, mostly the map. You can see some of the scripting here. You're going to see a few things that, well, of course, all that stuff needs to be deleted. But you're going to see a few things that you know you wouldn't normally see, like these planes here, uh, which I didn't have before. Uh, I'm trying to really fill in the areas with some extra environmental stuff, if you will, before the map is fully released. There's just a few things that I have. Actually, on the list of six things that I had to do, I only have three more, and one of them is already half done, and the other one I just haven't gotten to yet because I'm too lazy, but it's pretty much this on a bigger scale, uh, the plane moving. Uh, so that's really it for the scripting side, and I'm trying to get music to work. If I just go ahead and over here to music, uh, to the actual music section. There it is. Easter music works, but let's see if we can get, yeah, just regular music. I'm trying to get the set music state to work with my uh, CSC files. It's not really doing much, so I have to uh, I have to find a new way to do this. And let's go ahead and open up the map here. As you can see, for the most part, it's all pretty much done. Um, oi. There's only a few things really left that I can I can share. Uh, this is, for the most part, how it's looking in the editor. And the majority of the ending stuff, if I had the triggers back, the majority of the ending stuff is actually going to be done over here. And that's really it. Um, then after that, I'm going to be releasing it on August 31st. I'm hoping I get it done before then, but we'll see. Because all I really have to do for the ending here is get this stupid tank to move from this spot to this spot. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, if I can't get it to move because I've been having issues moving this tank, then what I'll do instead is I'll get uh, I'll just get a X bot X model with the moving treads, and then when it reaches the spot, get an X model without moving treads and make it stop. And that's it. Um, that's really all I have to show you here. So let's go into the map, and there's a couple of things that I've added in. Let's go ahead and restart. The vision file is now in there. And there's a plane. And the best part about the vision file being in here is you can see that there's it's obviously it looks different. It looks a little better in my opinion. Uh, adding the vision files in there cuz the vision files are just extra shaders that you can put on top of it. Uh, I'm planning on adding another vision file for oi for the um the underground area. And then having the vision file come back to normal when you exit said underground area. The city area still needs a little bit of extra design, but that's okay in my opinion. Uh, just needs... Still needs a couple of X models, still needs a couple of railings in one specific building, and then it's... Then it's pretty much done. I have hardly anything else to do there. forgot how easy I made this area because now there's um, there's not two uh, things. A fucking dog outside, man. There's going to be another plane up here that you're going to see and it's, it's going to look really bad. Now, uh, I'm not really going to show you too much of the city. Uh, mostly because you guys saw the city in the last update. And the vision file doesn't really do too much to change the city area. It's mostly done out here. Ah! Woo! Woo! Grenade! <laughs> oh, that was close. Um... Ooh, 
like this gun. Call of Duty 1 specifically has given me a love for that weapon. Um, ah, I forgot. Oh. Let's, uh, nah, I'm not going to just rush through it all. Because there's not really much else to show. I'm completely done now with this area. There will be no more additions made to this spot here. So in the next update, unless if the map is finished, um, you won't be seeing much here. Anyway, in this map, so far in this map, there are three Easter eggs. One of them is very hard to get. Uh, one of them you have to be looking in the right place. And one of them, you just have to explore around a little bit for it. Actually, there's four Easter eggs, because then there's also a gun. That's, uh, that's bad at being a gun. Um, but it's a very powerful gun. Suck is a little more powerful. Or a lot more. Um... Like a Thompson, actually. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Ha! Yeah, we're almost done with this encounter here. Never actually ran through this level with the Thompson, so we'll see how that works. This plane is terrible, and I plan on changing it. I'm just going to make it go straight from there over these hills. I still have to edit this encounter slightly, but it's almost done. And after I finish the plane and uh, adding one small thing, it'll um, it'll all be done. Ah. Am I getting hurt by? Oh, people. Let's go with them because reasons. I mean, you can definitely see that there is a a large difference. And the way this level looks now because of the, um... Oh yeah, that's another thing I need to do is I need to shorten out those those ropes a little bit. You can tell there is definitely a big difference in how the, uh, the game looks simply because of the vision file change. Dude, that's what I need to fix.
Oh, dear God. I'm gonna die. I really do like uh, this encounter here. It is a little bit annoying, but uh, the first time I played through it, I fell in love with it. Alright, well, I could have designed it with a little more cover. Uh, which I'm not going to, by the way. Um, I think that overall it's it's a very fun and very unique style because I don't think any of the other maps, uh, any of the default uh, World at War levels, have your enemies coming out of the blue to attack you. Like, they don't have them coming from an area that you can't see but you can go to, you know? Except for maybe a small ambush in one of the levels, but the ambush is heavily scripted, so... This area is not. This area only has one small set of script, and that's the script that spawns the AI. Waha! Should probably put some detail in this area as well. Maybe a pillar or something, I don't know. Because I went through enough trouble to do this. Should probably add like a table or something in here, at the very least. Like all the small things that I added in here, mostly the uh, the dynamic entities, because they, they are just all over the place. So anyway, uh, this is the last area that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the area that I'm supposed to update next. Uh, so there's that. I remember adding that there, I believe, last week actually. A couple of these things I added last week. But, you know, I added a lot of the dynamic ones in here. I'm hoping that in here I can make a uh, an Easter egg, but if I can't, so be it. I still have to make these hurt triggers work anyway. Um, there's that. Now I'll show you some of the changes that I did make in the city area. But so, next update you'll see that this doesn't do its loading thing. This area will have its stuff. This room will have railings going all the way up and there will be some things that occupy these rooms here. This back area, these will be more flushed out finally. Uh, there will be walls inside. There will be something not necessarily blocking this off, but I'll probably have some wires or something going down it so that way it looks a little better. Um, oh, let's see, this room doesn't really need much, uh, so one of, the, one of the things that I added were these blockings, as you can see now when you walk in here, and you look that way, you're probably less inclined to go, oh, I wonder if I can run up there, because you can't, you can jump on this table, you can see outside the map, which I should probably fix, but other than that, that's really it, um, I want to show you guys another thing that I added in here. If I can just go into god mode for a moment. So another little bit of some of the detail in here, per se. Like these windows. Which are entirely destructible. I don't know if I showed this in the last update or not. And there's the pillar in here. Uh, the extra detail added in these rooms. To make them look more like living spaces and less like a... Like, you know, stupid random, random detail. Get out of, get out of here! These are all movable. Although it's better if I show you by doing this. They move, they're just shingles. Um, I found a quick way to...
fill this room up with just some beds. And maybe I'll add a couple more crates. Down here needs to have something in it. There's this. I think it's kind of fun. It's just a... It's just a light, but I enjoy it. Um, I added some movable objects onto here. And this will be kind of strange, but... Uh, I'm actually... I like this one a lot. This! These, um... These pictures here I added on the walls. Which I think add a nice... A nice touch to this room, and I might add one of these pictures. Uh, in the downstairs area, I'm thinking maybe... I don't know, right there. And per perhaps adding some sandbags or a door. Uh, maybe like a door that's been cut off right here or something like that. So that's about it for this update, and I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time. My god, it's a massacre out here. What? Cha! Take that, Private Porter. How dare you?